Okay, let's look at some hints for textbook problem 829. And it says, use this matrix, 2 by 2, find e to the a t. So first off, let's just look at um, the Laplace method, inverse Laplace method, I guess. e to the a t is inverse Laplace transform of s i minus a inverse. All right. And doing it this way, let's find si minus a inverse. Uh, let's just find si minus a first. So that's just going to be s Okay, let's find the determinant of that. So taking the determinant here, s minus 3 times s minus 3 um, minus, both of these are negative, um, so the two negatives cancel out, 16 over 5 times 5, so those cancel out. We get what, s squared minus 6s plus 9 minus 16. Um, so minus 7, so we get what? S squared minus 6x minus 7, factor that. We're going to have 1 plus and 1 minus. And multiply to give us um, 7, so it's probably 7 and 1. And we want to add to give negative 6, so negative 7 and positive 1. Okay, so there are eigenvalues are negative 1 and 7. And so our solutions will have things like e to the negative t and e to the negative 7t kind of form for e to the at, um, just from knowing how these things work. Um, but let's go ahead and keep on working on our inverse of our matrix here. So we want si minus a inverse. And so we take 1 over the determinant here, so that's s plus 1, s plus 7 is our determinant. And then doing the transpose and the cofactors, we end up with s minus 3, s minus 3 is still here, and um, positive 5 and positive 16 over 15 here. Okay, and so if we want to plug it all in, we'll have s minus 3 over s plus 1 plus 7, 5 over the same thing, 16 fifths over the same thing, and again. Okay, now what we want to do is take the inverse Laplace transform of this and we'll do that term by term. So let's look at inverse Laplace transform of s minus 3 over s plus 1, s plus 7. Since we have distinct roots, we're just going to, basically we're going to have to do partial fraction expansion for each one. These two are the same. So partial fraction expansions, three of them, to find what these end up being. So let's just say we're working on this one. So we need to know partial fraction expansion of s minus 3 over s plus 1. Oops, I have plus and minus mixed up here. s minus 7. These all should be minus 7. Sorry about that. It's to drive you crazy. Okay, s plus 1, s minus 7. It's going to be some a over s plus 1 plus some b over s minus 7. And I'll let you do some of the work, so I'm not going to carry this out. But once we do the inverse Laplace transform then, so keeping back here, e to the a t, our solution, we take inverse Laplace transform element by element. So say we did this one, we got some a, b here. The inverse Laplace transform of a s plus 1 is a e to the negative t and the Laplace transform 
of the second term will be b, whatever you get a number for that, you can plug in and find the number, e to the 7t. Okay, so our first term would be a e to the negative t plus b e to the 7t with, of course, for your homework, you go ahead and figure out what that is, what a and b are numerically, and similar process for the other two, and these two, of course, are the same. Okay, so that's one way to go about solving that problem.